The recording gives us the first tangible sense of what it was like for these American government workers in Havana who were hearing these unexplained sounds in their residences and later developed physical symptoms. Americans who heard these sounds in Havana have described slightly different sounds, and even in some of the recordings that the AP has reviewed, there are slight variations. However, this high-pitched cricket sound seems to appear in all of them. The U.S. Embassy in Havana has played these recordings for Americans who are working there so they know what to listen to. These recordings have also been reviewed by people who heard the sounds firsthand in Cuba, and they confirm that the recordings are generally consistent with what they heard. We still don't know what is causing the sound, and the recordings don't appear to have significantly furthered the investigation. Even with the recordings being analyzed, the U.S. government still says it has been unable to determine what is causing the sound. You won't be hearing it, but of course it is going into your system. It's like a, you know, acoustic hammer which is hitting you. You're just not able to hear it because its frequency is much higher. So there were some concerns to it, and if it is really, really high, it could create um, uh, some, you know, what we call as a bio effects. It's possible that what we're hearing on the recording is actually only part of the picture. Traditional recording devices are only able to pick up certain types of frequencies, such as the ones that the human ear can hear. It's possible there are additional frequencies, possibly those too low or too high to be picked up that are also happening when these attacks occur.